Testimony continues in the murder trial of one of five suspects charged with killing a young Providence girl. Louis Fatboy Gonzalez is facing a long list of charges in connection with the shooting death of 12-year-old Inese Vargas. Now, Vargas was shot outside a graduation party last summer, and today, Providence police took the stand. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live outside Providence Superior Court with the new developments tonight. Mike and Kelly, two detectives and a patrolman testified here today. Though their testimony wasn't particularly emotional, Anise Vargas's family was still brought to tears. Another day in Luis Gonzalez's trial has wrapped up. The known gang member is accused of killing 12-year-old Denise Vargas and injuring three women during a party in Providence last June. Today we saw surveillance video of the van. Prosecutors say Gonzalez was riding in near the scene of the murder. Providence police officers also took the stand, testifying that Gonzalez, who's known as Fat Boy, was questioned soon after the deadly shooting. Detective William Matera told jurors even before Gonzalez was under arrest, he tried to strike a deal with police to protect one of his brothers, Diddy, from being charged and get another brother out of jail. When he did all that, did he try and negotiate a deal for himself? Or was it just his two brothers? Just his two brothers. He just said that Diddy knew where the gun was and could get it for us. Four other gang members, including the shooter Brandon Castro, have already pleaded guilty for their roles in the crime. One of them, Ricardo Vasquez, testified against Gonzalez last week, saying Gonzalez showed Castro how to properly load and lock the murder weapon. The trial picks up again here tomorrow morning at 1030 with more testimony from police officers. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.